Hello YouTube, this is Bayou again. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Mark II burner from the British Canteen Cup set. This is the new style. It's much bigger than the Mark I cooker and it's made aluminum, other than aluminum or aluminum as on European call it. We call it aluminum. And I'm going to show you my new discovery. Probably some of you already know. Normal everyday hand sanitizer. Normal everyday hand sanitizer. This one has a little bit of olive oil, so stay away from it because it has a nice smell. You don't want to cook with nice smell. So, the clear cut El Chipo tie from the Dali store. Look what I'm going to do. Inside, you have like a little holder. That's where you put the fuel. Don't worry, I already tried. It does not burn the container. Oops, I got a squirt outside. But that's, oops, another one outside. I need to aim better. Okay, so you put a little bit, not enough, maybe half of the, uh, half of the depth. Maybe one eight of uh, one eight of an inch, uh, four five millimeters for metric people. So what we're gonna do now is use a regular old army canteen. Like I told you before, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy their version of the uh, BCB Crusader canteen because uh, it's very expensive over here in the US. Almost thirty four dollars. That's too much for a stupid canteen cap. Oops, I had to watch my language. If it's perfectly, you can close it, or you can put it opposite of, of the notch, and then the uh, the heavy cover. This is this little silly thing is twenty dollars, kind of pricey, but it fits perfect. I told you it fits perfect. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do first is gonna light up. The hand sanitizing bowl is away. I don't want to get a big fire over here. I will be silly on my part. Okay, it is running. See the fire? Okay, I have approximately already set up two cups of water. Pre measured, so I don't have to spend time. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, heavy duty, heavy cover. On top of it, and opposite of the uh, ring, and I'm gonna time it with my phone right here. I have 235, but let's use the chronometer so it looks a little bit more professional. I totally got some of my students watching this video, so I have to watch my language and my clock. Correct. Um, stopwatch starts so right there again uh, the British has the uh, fire dragon fuel but I believe it it might be the same almost the same chemistry as this one again do not use anything added to it like the uh, olive with olive oil or olive because even though it smells nice, it smells nice, it has a little bit of light green color. You don't want to have your uh, food smell like olive. Hello. Yeah, it smells a tiny bit, so it's not quite right. Uh, once again, for those who have not seen, this is a regular canteen, good quality, made by the um, BCB company. I don't know what the problem is right here, but it's marked. It shouldn't be marked. Oh, scratch. It's a scratch, by the way. Scratch. This is the plastic cup. Or oh, it could be you uh, eating a uh, plate. The bottom one is a BCB uh, cooker type 2. A regular US Army canteen cup and the heavy covers. Uh, I believe they have at this cover, the new ones that fit perfectly, 
and they, they are much much cheaper I think they run about six seven dollars or five dollars five ninety nine plus the delivery so you almost half of the price of the heavy covers and I believe we almost got a boil today we are going to put some pasta pasta uh, size made by Nord cheddar broccoli uh, broccoli with cheddar cheese sauce so we're going to cook it in there, it's just cooking 10 minutes. No artificial flavor. 240 calories. 0 0.5 grams of saturated fat. 630 milligrams, I said milligrams, of sodium. And 4 grams of sugars. Why would you put sugars in the pasta? I had no clue. You can hear the noise. So now the issue is going to be how the, no, it's not, the, the, the noise that I hear is not the water boiling, it's the uh, hand sanitizer, which is okay. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, it says in instructions, In a medium salt per container, one and a half cup of water, or half a cup of milk. So I have two cups, no milk out in the field, you don't need milk. So we're going to use that, and uh, two quarts of, uh, uh, two quart uh, pot. So what we're going to do, we're going to cook only half, okay? You don't want to want to do it. So two cups of water, and we're going to use half for the for the purpose of uh, of showing you that you can cook in this setting. Now, hand sanitizer is highly uh, flammable, so you can use it as a fuel. Also, you can use. I have a little blister right here that I use cutting my tree down, that I did cutting my tree. So. You can use it as a first aid material. You can use it as a fuel. Uh, it's also a ladies for the moisturizer. So in case that you hot out in the field after the shower or French bath, you can put it on your body and you feel good. So you have part of French and somebody multi-purpose use. <laughs> Okay, waiting for the water to boil. We have uh, four minutes and 34 seconds. Hopefully it's boiling. That's the issue. Using a, a little bit more. That's the issue using a, a heavy steel canteen cup. For those who like the Wally World uh, cup, copy of the GSI, I have some bad news. Does not fit properly inside the uh, the Mark II cooker. Now you can place it on top, but it's very, very unstable. So, uh, I can hear the water coming to a boil. So you can place it on top, but it's not designed for this type of cooking attention, okay? The um, the fuel is almost out. I lasted uh, a little bit less than six minutes, so that's a good usage for the, the amount of uh, fuel. So we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna open it up. A little hot, so you have to be careful. And we're going to put a little bit more. I haven't tried to cool off, and I don't want to uh, set it on fire. So I'm going to squirt a little bit and see what happens. Oh, what do you know? It doesn't burn, it doesn't go off. So we're going to carefully fill it up some more. See? 
Ok. El aire. I'm going to put it right back. I want to get it to a rolling ball so you can see it. Okay, take a look, cameraman. We already have some, a little bit of boil, but not a rolling boil. Maybe one, one, one more, more. So we're gonna kind of put it in there. Uh, seven minutes, and remember the fuel stop. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add half of the pasta. Okay, now we have the rolling ball. Make sure you shake it so you do a nice, nice mixture. And a half cup of water, half a cup of milk, and we're gonna cook. Ah, we're gonna put it the whole thing. It's gonna be kind of pasty, but so since once again I forgot the uh, spoon, I have it behind me. Korean long handle spoon. This is what we're gonna do. Once again, this is the uh, cheddar broccoli. Now, why would you carry this type of fuel? To the field. Well, very simple. Because it's fast, it's practical, and as you can see, it's manageable. It's very manageable. That's what I like small containers and not a big one. When uh, many, many moons ago, blue moons ago, when I was in the army, there were some. Uh, oh, oh, I think I need to take the lid out. Because it's starting to boil. Okay, so as you can see, the fire is going hitting that rolling boil. Ten minutes of the fire, we put uh, some more fuel. Look at our uh, rolling boil. So it is manageable. I got my computer right here, uh, three feet away. And it's a control fire. Uh, I guess it's called a close fire. Make sure that you keep blowing the, uh, the cheese sauce so everything is okay. That's why you need a long handle. Cooking with a short handle is kind of silly to me. So if it gets too hot, I think it's almost like a milk. Always real fast. Of course, you can you can manage the amount of fuel so you don't get this this. Uh, large amount of fire. This is my first time cooking. I tried before but never uh, cooking. Let me taste it a little bit. Mm. That was funny, one of my students told me uh, 
couple months ago that he saw me baking the uh, the muffin, and he's a professional baker. He said uh, he will hire me, but I'll be his apprentice. So coming from a professional baker, I'm kind of proud that he can hire me. Hmm. Good taste. Now, while this cook, you gotta keep an eye on it, so it will not go away. I don't have water. I need water. I keep an eye on it. Uh, following up what uh, Prepper, Russian Prepper has on her YouTube channel. This is what we have here in the U.S. Rough beef. I bought this at the family uh, uh, family dollar store. Okay. Uh, this is made in, I think it's Brazil. This is not U.S. beef. Uh, no, this is uh, North Carolina. This is family that does not say where it was made. Now, the one that I bought before, it says Brazil. This is probably U.S. made. Okay, and also, if you don't like beef, you can use chicken. You can buy this at uh, uh, Walmart for less than a $3. Excuse me. I noticed that I'm running out of water. Okay, so this is, this is something you have to, if, you know, if you've ever been in the kitchen, you have to be aware that this situation, they have to be ready. So we're gonna, we added a little bit of more water because you don't want it thick. You don't want to burn, of course. Okay, I see the little fuel is dying, which is good. We only have 30 minutes, about five minutes of preparation, so. Um, my friend was using uh, Russian pork. They use a lot of pork up there. So if you don't have a few, it's not a big deal. See, it's not too hot. Get very careful. Remove your soup out of the way so you don't put the, <laughs> the hand sanitizer inside. Squeeze a little bit more, not too much. So it's managed. Everything is managed, under control. Okay, so you light it up and you put it back in the fire. And touch it again. Mmm, I can also get higher as a cook. Put the lid back on. It takes a little bit for the hand sanitizer to Get on fire. I mean the rolling fire that you saw it before coming from the sides all over. But that's okay. You 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 control the amount. You control you control the amount of hand sanitizer. You control the, um, the amount of fire. You don't want it too much. He's coming back again. So keep that in mind. Well, this is basically what I have for you. Uh, maybe I come back when it's setting down and show you in a play how it looks. Hand sanitizer, the uh, BCB uh, Crusader Cooking 2, Mark 2. Uh, question: Can you use uh, can you use this setting on a tuna can? I uh, have seen before. Yes, same fuel, same equipment. The only problem with the tuna can is that you have to use a hole puncher to make one set of rows on the top, maybe or two set of holes on the top. So you had the same process that you had to burn. I think I paid total plus me, uh, 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 postage uh, plus to $20. Much, uh, less, uh, less expensive than the, uh, than the cup. I'm gonna stick with the US cup. Get the container, the lid and the cooker.
and the little plastic uh, carrier um, is great. Pull it up until uh, we finish right here. Uh, we back YouTube. Uh, my dietitian was talking to me in reference of that uh, sugar. And she was telling me that the sugar actually is not added on by the equivalent of five grams that comes with the noodles. The, uh, the noodles will provide you with that amount of sugar. I guess uh, she's right. But if you look, you have uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, calcium, iron, thiamine, Ribofen, niacin, folic acid, I mean, the stuff that uh, make you wonder what is it. But uh, this company, no worries, it's okay company. At least uh, FDA of the uh, Indian government did not uh, tell it to stop manufacturing uh, anything. I know the Indian government just ordered the uh, Nestle uh, company to stop making the cup of soup because they found some poison in there. And then uh, I don't want to talk too much about them, but I have a serious problem with management when they think that they own the world of the world. Nobody owns the world of the world, so they have a problem in here. Okay, we're going to add a drop more of water. You know, if it. It depends how you like it. If you like it dry, then, you know, burn it. I don't care. But if you like a little sh juicy, uh, uh, see? It depends how you like it. You can eat it as a soup, or you can eat it as a stew, or you can eat it as a paste. It's up to you. I mean, you call the shots. Uh, the only thing I have to remind you is uh, bring it from the bottom to the top. So the noodles get uh, nice and cooked. Look at this. This is almost what? Three centimeters, uh, an inch and a half. Uh, and at the beginning, they were very small. Mmm, that's soft. Okay, I think we're going to... Uh, uh, this is, this, this bowl, this wooden bowl, they're very nice for the field. They're very nice for the field. So once again, when you have your starch, you have your cheese, you have your vitamins. Uh, my friend from Russia, they were using the, the buckwheat. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm too Latino to be eating buckwheat, even though I was able to purchase uh, a bag. Here, once you got the uh, starch, you can either select the uh, roast beef and gravy, you can heat it up, open it up and heat it for a couple minutes. Or you can eat it with the chicken. This chicken uh, is great for uh, fajitas or for flautas, if you're into Mexican food. Good chicken. So, that's all I have for you on YouTube. You're still hearing us some more. Put a little bit more. Let me taste it one more time. Mmm, very good and soft. I want to know, but we blew the time, but you can you can have this meal already in 20 minutes. The class of 26. But I would say probably 20 minutes. Oh, leave it at 26. A nice bowl of um, cheddar broccoli um, and noodles. Boy, this is a, a, a spiral pasta. Good. Talk to you later.